New at 11, a popular Asheville business is closing, but they're not leaving quietly. The owner of Bar of Soap took to Facebook today, telling former customers not to dine at a restaurant right next door. News 13's Ashley Searles looks into what's going on. And Ashley, the business appeared to kind of backpedal on that message, right? That's right, Larry. They appeared to. Now, the owner of Bar of Soap never got back to me today after we reached out for a comment. But very notably, that initial post on Facebook was edited back this afternoon. Just a few days ago, and there was no word of any closing or anything, so I came to do it today, and they're closed. The laundromat slash local watering hole bar of soap is shutting down suddenly. The Merriman Avenue doors were locked today, and a post from the bar went up on Facebook saying the building's changed hands and the business is being forced out. And this is the only one that's convenient that I like coming to, so it's really disappointing. Now, the bar's initial post that went up online was fiery and told customers not to eat at Del Vecchio's next door. Hours later, that part was edited out. But the restaurant owner there says the bar's apparent anger is misdirected. That bar owner Sean McNeil, who had owned the building, let it go into foreclosure. The space was bought at auction by a Floridian, and then McNeil didn't renew his lease. Del Vecchio's owner, Rob Clark, said he did renew Fair and Square, and he now plans to expand. Yeah, I just like it because I can. it's a nice environment to sit in. I usually bring my computer and try to get some work done, have some coffee while I wait, and kind of multitask that way. Um, so I haven't been to another laundromat that's quite as conducive to that kind of thing. Without the whir of a dozen washers, the whole building will now become a pizza place and bar no soap. I guess I'm going to have to go search for somewhere else that I like as much. Now, the new owner of the building did not return calls today. Again, neither did Bar of Soap, so it's unclear whether the bar will reopen somewhere else around town.